Folks, really nice spotted bass here. Oh yeah, what I'm talking about right here. Uh-huh. Now this is a <laughs> beautiful spotted bass. Now, I've been thinking about keeping some of these to eat, y'all. This be a prime candidate right here. I don't know. But yeah. Come here, fishy fishy. That's what we're trying to catch right there, y'all. Yeah, first bass in the boat. All right, now I'm gonna have to, where my clicker go? Okay, look here, y'all. Number one. Yep, number one. All right, I gotta get the hook out of it. I'm thinking about keeping me some of these to eat. I might just keep this and I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. That would be a fine one to eat right there, y'all. Let's just get, I'm gonna turn him loose. Let's catch another. There we go. Boy, you lucky fish is all I can tell you. Every bass I catch, I'm gonna click it. Yep. And then at the end of the fish trip, we'll see how many we catch today. Sometimes we catch a lot, sometimes we don't. But I'm gonna show y'all, don't matter how many we can catch. So that's what I'm gonna do. What we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be throwing all natural swim bait, thread fin shad, out there in about 13, 14 foot of water on the edge of the river channel. And just let it bounce down through there and see what we can catch. Um, the water is real clear right now and right now as you can tell that sun is just now coming up and it's been real bright and sunny and when, when that when you got that right there I think these bigger fish move out a little bit deeper out in the river so that's what we're going to start out doing this morning. All right I'm going to show you my setup here. I've got a little number lumber two hook on right here a little mustad hook and I've got just a little small split shot. The current don't seem to be too bad right here right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start out with a small split shot and uh, just throw out there. And, hey, we'll throw one of these all natural swim baits out there. Let me show you what I got. These all natural swim baits that I'm fishing with right here. Hey, that's what everything in this river likes to eat, so it ain't no telling what we love to catch. It's always fun fishing with it because you don't know what you're gonna catch. I got that net ready right there, boy, in case we had to catch a big one. I'm full out there in the river channel. Right out of China, look at her, let her go down. And we're gonna let her bounce right down through here towards that big, pretty mountain over yonder. And we can catch us some fish. That's right. Shot, I like to feel the bottom out there when I'm throwing this live, this live all natural bait. Um, I like mine to just bounce the bottom. Uh-oh, folks, we already got a fish on. See him take a line out? <laughs> We think they have fun, I'm telling you right now today. He's on there too, here we go. Oh my God, I missed him. I jerked too quick, y'all. Lord have mercy. He claimed a plow. Nothing back but a red hook. I tell you what, when we get done today, folks, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all something right here. When we get done today, you see that red hook right there? See that? It ain't gonna have no red on it. We're gonna catch so many fish today. These fish gonna knock all the red paint off my hook. Okay, let's try it again. Go up the river, channel's coming right down through here, and fish are laying into the current, waiting on a meal to come by. And I just throw them one out, John. I have to like throwing a, folks, let me tell you something, right there, like throwing a flay man yawn out there to them fish. Uh-huh, sure is. Just letting line out. I'm just letting it go back through there. Uh oh, one's just got it. See, look here. I'm gonna let him chew on it a minute. Eh, maybe he's got it by now. Let's see. Well, say that. Has he still got it, y'all? Oh, yeah, he's still got it. Yeah, boy. Let's see. Yeah. We look slack. Set the hook, and we got him. What we got? Oh, he's a nice one though. Oh, wait a minute now. Yeah, he's a little better fish than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, a, this is a nice quality fish right here. I mean, a nice fish. Sure is. 
Come on up here, Spot Bass. Come on up here. Yeah, boy. Uh, I better reach down and get him. These little boogers are they're little chunky fish. Got him. Look that hook right there, right in the top of the lip. That's where you want to get him. Now that's a little fat, so I'll tell you, look at that. Uh-huh. All right, let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and just turn this one back. Then go back down in there. Let's catch us another. See this hook right here? Way of the shank is. Look here. See? All right, your minner's out there and it comes up and bites. And that, when, you, when you come straight up with a hook set, like straight up, it, it turns that hook straight up and down and it comes into his mouth. Because you know the fish is here like this so the hook comes straight up in his mouth if you try to set the hook sideways a lot of times it'll pull that hook instead of straight up it'll pull it sideways and as it pulls it sideways it just barely gets in his mouth but then it gets on the outside curve of that hook and it comes out of his mouth so when you set the hook on his fish come straight up that way you'll get them right lip Let's catch us another big one. I got a really big manner on this one. Really big manner. Been here since right at daylight. And the bite keeps getting better and better on up in the day, it seems like. Sure does. Hmm. Oh yeah, see? See there? Did you see how he tightened the line? Oh, did you see that? Did you see how he jerked the line out? Look at that. This near here main business, I'm telling you. He ain't playing around with that man. I can't figure out if he got it or not. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, he's done halfway up there and the down with it. There he is, right there too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Come here, come here, small mama. Come on up here now, come on. Uh, I already got him hooked right there on the roof of the mouth. Come here, come here. Uh, look at here, that's a good chunk. That is a chunk right there. That's what I am talking about, chunk. Yeah. Hey, I want to show y'all something here on, while I got this fish up. Well, see, when you hook one, see like I did that and right? Well, see that line comes up over the roof of their mouth. And the whole time you reeling them in, you know, it's rubbing against them sharp teeth. So that's how you end up. Let me get the hook out and I'll show you here. And I'll turn this fish loose. I don't like to keep them out no longer than I have to. All right. I'm going to turn this fish loose and I'm going to show you one time I want to. Remember, I had him hooked right there. See how sharp them teeth are? See, that's why. I, go back down in there, big mama. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. See, that's why you get these little bad places in your line. See right there? See where his teeth? I mean, I can feel them right there. I'm going to have to retie this hook. Look there, they don't need all the red paint off that hook. Why don't y'all look at there? See all this line right here now that I cut the bad part off just fresh and clean. Ain't got no little nicks in it. So, let's tie us a polymer knot on here. Easy not to tie, strong knot. I'm telling you, don't come no better. I don't know how to tie, but three knots. That's a polymer knot, an Alberto knot, and a granny knot. That's it. I don't want to know how to tie them up. It gets too complicated. All right, let's get us another one in here. There's a nice little manner here. And let's throw out there and let's catch us up a nut. What I am talking about. Way out in there this time. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I think this one's got it. Feels pretty solid. All right, here we go. Oh, I got him. Yeah, I got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't caught up with him good yet, though. Oh, it's a pretty nice fish, too. I don't know if it's a... Let's see if it's a bass. Oh, yeah, it's a bass. I saw him down under there. Mm -hmm. Another one. Another really nice. But we in these spotted bass right here, y'all. I'm just telling you right now. We in them. Oh, yeah. Look at him pull, boy. Tell you what, down there. I mean, 
Ain't shabby at all. That's a nice spotted bass. I'm gonna get down here and I'm gonna do like them professionals do. I'm gonna come down here and just lift this and look at here, boy. Look here. Right here. Whew. Little hook. Just right there in the mouth. Folks, tell you what, that's a beautiful spot. Look at that. Now let's turn this one loose. Right here. And watch him go back down in there. There he went. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's throw out here. Let's throw way up yonder. Another thing, when you throw these minnows out here, you don't throw them way up in there and loop them down, let them belly flop out there. It takes the wiggle out of them. Throw them as low to the water as you can, like maybe three or four feet out through yonder. And that way, when they hit the water, they'll skip instead of plop. If that makes any sense to you. I mean, I don't know if I explain myself right, but that's kind of what I'd like to do anyway. I've analyzed all this all natural live bait fishing i'm telling you i put a lot of thought into it and a lot of this thought that i put into it i'm utilizing it and uh so i believe there's fish on here now maybe yeah he got it uh, he's on there right now all right let's, read, let's see what he is maybe he'll be a big one. Oh, he's got it y'all let's go where we go uh-huh another ooh, nice little spotted bass look at him down in there nice spot we got him hooked good i think let's pull him up here and look at him that big man are hanging out of his mouth yeah look at that <laughs> he was after this manner right here and he he got it all right uh-huh they got a little surprise he ain't a big one but he is a bass and he is a clicker i ain't got a clue how many we done caught several i ain't looked yet i'm gonna wait just like y'all i'm gonna wait and check at the end of the fishing trip let's catch us up another uh-oh maybe there's one after it already just got it out there too i'm gonna open my bail in case one grabs it you keep your bail open and one grabs it he'll just pull a line off your finger if you got your bail shut he'll pull it out and you'll feel that tension he'll let it loose and turn it loose a lot of times so that's just kind of the way i fish that's another thing i figured out on this live bait fish you better off doing that oh yeah oh yeah yeah one's got it see him, see him? look at boy <laughs> i don't ever get tired of this i don't get tired of catching fish y'all i can just tell you that right now I mean, he's on there. He got I me. Mean, he's got it, buddy, and he's running. He's running uptown with it. He sure is. Oh, this 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 might be a really nice fish, y'all. I mean, it feels like he's got a little. Oh yeah, he feel like he's got some weight on him. I mean, he's he's. I mean, he's. Uh, here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, now we got a big one on. I think. Now this one here. It's got some weight on him. I'll be curious to see how big this one's gonna be. That's right. I mean, he's running. I mean, he's, I mean, you can see, he's like, he's going up through yonder with it, man. He ain't slowing up. I hope I got him hooked good, because this is a really good fish. I mean, it really is. I think it's a really nice bass. I do. Maybe this might be the biggest one of the day. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. He's a good one. He is a good fish. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the biggest one of the day right here, y'all. Look at him down in there. Football. Mm, that's going to be one of these get down here and get him kind of fish. I, mean, I probably should net this fish, but I'm not going to. Come in there. That's what I'm talking about. Get over here where I can get you. Oh, yeah. Come here now. <laughs> now, well, you were, we talking now, y'all. Now we're talking. I barely got him hooked right there. Boy, it wouldn't took much to lose that fish. Look at that. Barely got it. We've been trying to catch one of these right here all morning. We finally got us one. Big one. Look at that. I mean, we've been catching a bunch of spotted bass. But I want to catch a, a big one. And that right there. Look at that. Biggest one of the day so far right here for sure. That is a one more good fish. 
I know, Miss Bot, you wanna go. All right, come on, I'm gonna put you back, and I appreciate you coming up here and meet me. All right, let's just turn her loose. Let's watch, see what she does. Oh, she's ready. Look at that. Now, whoo, that was a good quality fish right there. I'm telling you right now. Now, I'm gonna show you what we caught here. We've caught, take a guess. We've caught 18 bass right here on this all natural swim thing, 18. So we've had a good, good half a day of fishing. Right now it's about lunchtime. And we got here right after sunrise this morning. We caught some nice fish. But anyway, we've been going to the house now, folks. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, it's called Rocky Drake Outdoors. I sure would appreciate it. Let me tell you something. We're going to be doing a whole lot of this, and we would love to take you along with us. We'll see you next time. Let's go down. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! That's just what come out of that uh, big old body badge of goose. Look here. Look how big that manor is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fishy. I'm sorry I stole you. I stole you something. You be alright. You go back out there and get your knife.